All right, so as y'all can see, I just got out of the theater. Um, man, there's a lot to talk about that movie, man. I, it it was it was good, man. It was good, you know. From an artistic standpoint, the cinematography was just was fantastic. The cinematography was absolute, just it was epic. Just big and it was big in scale. You know, honestly, before I'd say anything, before I try to go in depth, I'm gonna have to see that movie over again. <laughs> Cause there was just so much going on, man. Like wow. Eyes on the rain in the sky, shit hard when the rays don't shine. Niggas finna blame the clouds on the rain in the sky. Okay, so I just seen Dune, obviously, and it's dude, it was impressive. I mean, the world building that has been done with this is incredible. I want to say that I enjoy myself thoroughly. I give it a four out of five. Uh, with that being said. I didn't know what the hell was going on, but that didn't mean it wasn't a really good movie. It was a really good movie, and I'll say to that, a lot of people that obviously know about this already, who've read the books and all that, all that material, um, you know, those who are coming in with, you know, knowledge, you know, a deeper knowledge of this, they're going to be rewarded right away, because when I went in there, you know, keep in mind, like I said, I didn't know anything about this. So, I just wanted to be entertained from a standpoint of someone who didn't know anything about it. And I thoroughly was. I enjoyed it. There was a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of different characters, different cultures, you know. Um, it, it's, it was a really impressive it was a really impressive feat on a director. Like, I really enjoyed how they used seat practical effects in this as much as they could. I feel like they exhausted the practical effects as much as they could. Obviously, there's CGI because, you know, you got to have... For a movie like Dune, a story like Dune, you just got to have CGI in this day and age. You got to... You would, you know, you would be doing yourself a disservice. But I like that it was, you know, it was heavy on the, you know, the human aspect. You know what I'm saying? The, and... And also the costumes were just like, man, it just looked otherworldly as it should have been. And, um, you know, it dealt a lot. It, it dealt with a lot of prophecy, a lot of prophecy, um, a lot of foreshadowing. And one of the things I liked as far as like when it first started, it lets you know right away that it was a um, part one of three. You know, like I said, you know, these these movies, they all, you know, when they're big stories, they always try to make it a serialized thing. Um, I already knew that going in. Uh, I plan on watching the other two. So I already knew that. But I really enjoyed how they, like right when it came on, it showed you part one. It said part one of, you know, Dune. And I was like, okay, you know, at least they're not, you know, at least they're not holding us hostage and just saying, okay, well, you know, we're going to, play this long movie and then we're going to end it and then it's up to you to decide you know whether you want to we're going to leave it on a cliffhanger we don't know if we're going to get another shot like i like that they they have the confidence to put part one and also they they feel good enough that they about the product that they know they're going to get a second one i mean i think the company i whoever's whatever what was it warner brothers i think warner brothers um it's produ has produced the movie, so the, I, and, the, and they've already greenlit a second one, a sequel. I mean, which and, and rightfully so because the movie, the movie is fantastic. The movie is fantastic. They got Han, Hans Zimmer, Hans Zimmer. He's doing the music, and the music is big, and it makes sense because the the sh the, the movie is so big. You know, and the exposition, like I said, this movie was two two hours and forty five minutes. The first half of it was it was good the first half was really good you know obviously they got to put all the exposition at first so and that's what i wanted you know usually i'm just like ah, all this talk and come on let's get to some action but you know you need that exposition especially for us who ha don't know about this story this mythology you, we need the exposition and there was a lot of things that were happening that i was like what the hell is going on but i knew it was just 
me going in there and not really having prior knowledge. What I feel like I should have done, honestly, is I should have got a little bit of knowledge about the world before I came into that. That's what I should have did. I mean, should have done. That's what I should have done. Um, I didn't do that, and my experience kind of suffered because of that. And that doesn't mean that the movie wasn't incredible. The movie was incredible. Um, honestly, my ignorance in that regard is the reason why I didn't get. I don't give it a higher score than four. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'm going to definitely jump on YouTube. I'm gonna find Quinn's ideas. I said it before. Quinn's ideas. This dude is fantastic. He's broken down this Doom story mythology to a T. Like millions of subscribers, so he's excellent at describing this world of Dune. He loves it, so I'm gonna check on him, and I'm definitely gonna see that movie a second time because I know once I get the information from him, you know, and he's gonna break down the movie, I'm gonna want to see it again just to clarify my thought process on what I was experiencing, what I was seeing. You know, it was a really good movie, man. The the cinematography. I'd be surprised if they don't win. As far as that's concerned, I'd be surprised if they don't win something for cinematography because that was just, the scope of it was fantastic. The music was incredible. Um, yeah, man. It was good. <laughs> it was real good. I don't want to spoil it, man. I mean, like, it, it, it is so... But if you don't know anything about it, you know... It wouldn't even make sense for me to go into detail about certain things. All I can tell you is that it was really good. Like, the first half, the exposition was really appropriate and it was needed for people like us who don't know anything about it. The second half was action. It was seemed like it was nonstop action. And when you go into a long movie, you know, you kind of have doubts like, shit, I might fall asleep through this. You know what I mean? I don't know about y'all, but I had doubts going into a movie that's two hours and 45 minutes. I was like, well, my, I don't know. I don't know about this one. But, you know, it was good, though, man. It just it just kept revving up, man. It kept revving up. And I, honestly, that was impressive, too, man. That was impressive. I suggest anyone who's interested in this movie, go see it. You know, there's a lot of information on YouTube. And I would also stress that. Go get some information about it first. Jump online and get some information about it first before you see the movie like I did. Because I don't think I did myself any justice by not getting... You know, getting the knowledge and the information that would have made my experience a whole lot better. So go see it. Dune's out. Y'all know what it is. Got another episode coming eventually. So so with that said, I highly suggest it. Go see it. It's an experience in itself. Y'all know what it is. Y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all later.